sounding the alarm after Russia and China conducted joint naval drills off the coast of Alaska. Those drills triggered a direct response from the U.S. military, including four destroyers and a P-8 Poseidon aircraft, which shadowed the Chinese and Russian fleet until it left the area. The Pentagon says the ships never entered U.S. waters, but some lawmakers on Capitol Hill are now urging the White House to beef up America's military presence in the region. When we talk about decoupling, it has to be selective. It has to be strategic. We have to identify the sectors that are critical to American national security. What they're doing here is intimidation, harassment, 11 ships. They've never done anything like this before. Obviously, we picked that up right away with our aircraft. Beijing has since responded, saying the drills are routine. They were not aimed at any third party and have nothing to do with the conflict in Ukraine. The United States. First and foremost, before we get started, I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rikah Kadash, and double honors to those great millstones while lunch is true, and also to the Ophelet that is scattered abroad. I'd like to say Shalom and come back here today with another great and powerful lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And the title of today's lesson is Because Thou Hast Spoiled Many Nations. So I'd like to say Shalom to all our listeners and learn. Hope this will help you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So before we start uh, the lesson, let's get a quick precept. Revelation chapter 11 and verse 14. The second woe is past and behold, the third woe come quickly. So that about we already know uh, the second woe is talking about what World War II and also the third woe come quickly. What is that? World War Three. So we already hear the room. Rumors of wars are all over the place. So in the first clip, you know, what I brought out was uh, they saying that uh, that uh, China and Russia is uh, constantly doing mili uh, military uh, exercise near Alaska, very close to uh, the uh, Alaska uh, coastline. So we know that that is very alarming. We already knowing that, you know what I'm saying, things are getting ready to escalate. We're seeing that these what uh, this uh, Russia and uh, African uh, alliance is constantly growing. You know what I'm saying? Things are getting ready what, to heat up. We're seeing that, hey, maybe we read upon what World War Three, and out about things could go nuclear at any given time. Also, this these brick nations are constantly what rising up. Everyone is uh, the whole world is what is turning against a uh, what America, Babylon the Great, because what they have what spoil many nations. Not about when you go into that world spoil, it means to plunder. You know what I'm saying? To to what to make a prey? You know to what to destroy? You know what I'm saying? Not about one thing about all the what robbing, stealing, and killing. You know what I'm saying? Constantly going in other people, people, nation, you know what I'm saying? Setting up their what? Puppet government, killing their leaders, you know, constantly what? Draining their resource, you know, gold, silver, you know, uranium, you know what I'm saying? Oil, you know what I'm saying? All sorts of wickedness has been done. You're not about these nations are very tired, sick and tired of what? Of what? America, you know what I'm saying? Not about we seeing that these nations are coming up against, you know what I'm saying? The whore, you know what I'm saying? Not about we seeing that, you know what I'm saying? The Lord is constantly uh, moving the chess pieces around. We seeing that we read upon war, you know what I'm saying? A great time of trouble that we have never seen before. So that is very alarming. Also, they, it, they, uh, it, the report said that they had 11 uh, uh, warships out there in uh out there uh doing military exercise once again uh uh near alaska so hey man hey man they're in our backyard and also it's already rumors that uh china and russia is in the what pattern canal you know so also we already know that they're sending all these uh illegal uh uh immigrant immigrants throughout america in different cities so hey man the stage is set you know what i'm saying that what that invasion you know it's coming upon us left and right hey man we're here it's at the door hey man well how do you were here how do you will for barrel so we seeing that hey man and also in um uh uh niger and uh niger and what in Ni and nigeria they have they are preparing for war against what france you know what i'm saying against the what the eu so wait hey, we seeing the things are what uh smack constantly escalate and also what they're not putting in the news about that pipeline that was going to run through uh nigeria and niger you know to supply what Europe, which in fact the EU once again, France. So that that's not all about gold. It's about gold and also uranium, also the oil. You know what I'm saying? They constantly want to what? Constantly spoil these nations. And everybody's still thinking that they are the what? 
uh, the hammer of the whole earth. But that about the Lord has made what uh, America weak. You know what I'm saying? Constantly uh, breaking down their what resources, their power. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is is confounding their what uh, uh, their wisdom. And that about you know what I'm saying? You know, stand stand now in thy enchantment. They are not working anymore. That left hand energy. The Lord is cutting it off. And that about called what the great day of the Lord is fast approaching. Also, we seeing that what the kingdom of heaven is fast approaching. Also, UFO sites are all across the world. And, I, and, and these nations are constantly rising up. What the heathens are raging. And how about they imagine a vain thing to be the what? The next superpower. But the next superpower, what is coming is the kingdom of heaven that dwells in righteousness. So we see it. Hey, you know what I'm saying? It is payback. It is payday. You know what I'm saying? So Lord's get ready to repay. You know what I'm saying? What uh, America, which in fact is Babylon the Great. What have they done throughout the what? The century. You know what I'm saying? Rob, steal, and kill you know, shed innocent blood, all the atrocity against the what? The children of Israel. You know what I'm saying? Not about it is the Lord. He, he's getting ready. What, what was done to us is getting ready to be done to them. And not about that transition of power is taking place right before our eyes. Man, we seeing that. Hey, man, these nations are angry, man. We seeing that, hey, man. The Lord is doing a mighty work. The brick nations are constantly arising. You know what I'm saying? We seeing that they're done with the dollar. The end of the dollar is to what? The end of America. We seeing what uproars of the people. Civil unrest. We seeing what happened down there in uh Montgomery, Alabama. That's just a precursor. What's coming? You know what I'm saying? Out about you know all hell is getting ready to break loose. Sedition among men. You know what I'm saying? We're already seeing that. Hey, these nations are rising up. You know, not only uh uh between black and white, all these nations are getting ready to turn against uh uh the what the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. And out about he's getting ready to be what chased out of the world. He's getting ready to what to go into slavery for a thousand years. After slavery, he will be totally eradicated. These are not my words. These are the words of Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the Lord is what is making inquisition. The Lord is visiting the earth they decree. The Lord is doing a mighty work. Rejoice ye heavens. And I by the heaven, what I'm talking about is what? It's Israel. The Israel of the Most High. And I bet we'll rejoice because we're at the end of this thing. And man, and also the great and glorious return of Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. It is fast approaching. Watch, pray, and be sober. Hey man, we almost here. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is because thou hast spoiled many nations. So I have a few more videos. And after those videos, we will start the lesson. And I hope that you will get edified one moment. But first, a story that no one's talking about is the massive pipeline that is nearly set to go online. Now, it starts in Nigeria. It flows through Niger on its way up into Europe. Chevron and the United States have already invested $13 billion into this pipeline. And guess what, guys? After the Nord Stream pipeline destruction, Chevron stepped up production to get this up and running. Hey, we'll speed, you know, we'll speed this up. We'll fast track this. And now the people of Niger are saying, wait a second. Why are we going to allow a pipeline to flow right through our country so Europe can have natural gas? You are doing nothing for us. You continue to steal from us. Sorry, no more pipeline. This is why Europe is terrified this morning. The United States already blew up the Nord Stream pipeline, put their own pipeline into action in Africa. Smart business move, right? Well, we'll just blow up the competition. Imagine Walmart doing that to Target stores. Yeah, we're just going to blow up those stores. Now you got to shop at Walmart, and now Niger is saying, hey, sorry, you're not going to use our country to transport your natural gas into Europe. Get out of here. So Europe is facing catastrophe with no Nord Stream pipeline coming from Russia any longer, and now the threat of this pipeline being shut down through Africa. This was their salvation, this pipeline. And then add into it uranium and Europe's nuclear power. The United States gets over 50% of its uranium from Russia despite all of the sanctions that the United States has placed against Russia. They left uranium off the list. I love this. I love that they chose to sanction every other thing, but they left uranium off the list because we need it so badly. We need it desperately. Why? The United States is so heavily dependent on Russia for uranium that Putin could literally flip a switch, literally destroy the American economy by turning off the lights. A major backup resource of uranium is Niger. The French, the United States, have been essentially stealing uranium from African countries for decades. And again, these countries are saying enough is enough. We are sovereign countries. Get out of here. We are going to keep our own minerals and make our own decisions. And Russia is giving them that option right now. We want you to keep your sovereignty. We want you to be an independent country, not a slave to the West. 
Listen to Africa Bureau Chief Musa Ibrahim explain how the people of Africa want to gain back their wealth, their minerals, stop giving it away to America and Europe. What people want is to gain back their wealth, the, back their uranium, their gold, their iron, their uh, phosphate, their oil, their gas. And this scares the West because this means the true democracy will take place in Africa when people actually own their own land and the wealth of Africa does not go untaxed, unsupervised from the mines in Niger to the banks uh, of Paris and the financial sector in Britain. And he's right, Niger is... France is outraged because Putin makes the first move. Putin strikes a deal with Saudi Arabia to Pepe, more oil, gas prices rise, and energy costs skyrocket. Europe was doing well, weathered the winter and filled Russia's coffers with money, pretending to buy oil from Mars. But Putin thought it was not enough, Putin plays a checkmate, because Niger is the seventh largest producer of uranium globally, and the shortage of energy in France and, consequently, the uranium it sells to Germany will be felt in the upcoming winter. Nuclear energy was touched upon a thousand times. France did not hold back, but now it seems that the uranium coming from Niger will cease. The report says that the European Union and Niger maintain open ties. But it is not a tie, it is exploitation, it is theft, it is misery, it is poverty, it is disgrace, it is tragedy, it is taking the wealth of a country and giving crumbs, giving expired bread, giving sour milk. The European Union and Niger maintain open ties, and unacceptable attacks jeopardize these ties, as it is a democratically elected government. The President of the European Commission says this, and France, in desperation, wants to declare war on Niger, but how? Putin is the great man of the century. He saved Russia, he saved the world from these plagues, from these cancers that need to be swept away from history. The United States is in the middle of a cultural war. The enemy is the far left, and they are determined to destroy the moral foundation of the United States. Their forces are many, and they control our federal government, our educational system, the media, and even corporate America. They want to destroy those who love God, family, and country. They attack our patriotism, target our religious beliefs, and encourage open borders. Whether they are foolish or being used as useful idiots is of no concern of mine. Speaking reasonably with these closed-minded people has proven to be a waste of time. The silent majority in this country must no longer be silent. The left has encouraged our silence for decades, and they have determined that our tolerance for their agenda is a sign of weakness. We must no longer be complacent. We must no longer be intimidated. The scale of politics has swung too far to the left. We must fight against the tyrannical left and stand for freedom. How about that BRICS alliance? How's everyone doing? You know, America is getting humbled right about now. Touting to the rooftops about how perfect we are, how above we are when it comes to other countries, people, places, and things. It's really, it's not a cute look and it's not, it's not good. But what's far more worse is the corruption that has been allowed to fester in America through corrupt government for decade after decade after decade, and people are still voting. They're still voting. They think that this one's going to get it right, and 50 years later, this one's going to get it right. And again, like I've shared, we're in the harvest. We reap what we sow. Corrupt government. You know, they weren't gardening so well, and this is their harvest, okay? So this should come as no surprise to everybody, because... The corruption that is through and through within the system that has been oppressing the people for decades through the family court system, the justice system. Listen, they, we all know they have not been taking care of their own people in their own land. How is that the best country? Now, of course, this isn't going to affect the millionaires and the billionaires because, you know, they do pay their way out of these scenarios. 
A lot of times they don't even get touched because they're too busy kissing ass with corrupt politicians because, you know, they want their deals. They want their building permits. They they want that specialized attention. And, you know, after all, they're just buddies, right? They don't know that you don't play with vipers. But, you know, money like that, greed rather, you know, there's nothing wrong with wealth. The only problem is, is when it's in the wrong hands, right? Because wealth can enrich a, a community. It can do so much when it's in the right hands. This BRICS alliance, it's like, bye-bye, U.S. dollar. Mexico's like, hey, can we join? China's like, sup. Sup, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is like, sup. Sup, China. It's funny. It is funny because, listen, you're, we're talking about bullies here for decades. Bully, uh, bullies of us. Us. Its own citizens, the corruption through and through. And again, like I said, these these uh, billionaires and, you know, like, oh, that's, you know, it's whatever. We're still the, the greatest country. And, and that a lot needs to be said about people like that because they're not even assisting. The majority of the population have dealt with corruption at the hands of corrupt government in every part of the system. Everybody has been touched. Wow. And, and, and what's up, right? So here we have it. U.S. dollar, countries are pulling out, don't want to be doing business with America. Decades of bullying, decades of the ego and the pride from corrupt leaders in American government, putting themselves, like, that's what happens. Listen, in our own personal relationships, we don't want to be around people that are like that, that think that they're better than others. No, it's not a good look, but, you know. <laughs> they are tired of being dictated to by America. America wants to turn the whole world into an American village. We are not an American village. We are independent from America. And Russia is going to lead that way to demonstrate to the whole world that we don't care about America. We are here at the modem to say to America, we are showing you a middle finger today. You are on your own and we are not scared of you. We will liberate the whole world through the leadership of Russia. So comrades, never be confused. There are Nazis there in Ukraine who are pushing an agenda that seeks to undermine democracy. All right, well, China and Russia conducting a joint naval operation, bringing 11 ships near the coast of Alaska. Last week, the U.S. mobilizing four destroyers and patrol planes in response to guide the ships away from U.S. waters. The Wall Street Journal editorial board writing, quote, the naval patrol is best understood as a warning that U.S. territory isn't safe, as well as a test of how the U.S. will respond. The world is getting more dangerous, and a complacent U.S. political class isn't educating the public about the growing threats. Joining me now, Gatestone Institute senior fellow and author of The Coming Collapse of China and the great U.S.-China tech war, Gordon Chang. Gordon, it's great to see you, and I think the editorial board at the Wall Street Journal summed it up pretty nicely there. Well, certainly, because we have to assume that if there's going to be a war in Asia, and Henry Kissinger tells us it's probable, then we're going to be facing not just China, but also China's friends, specifically Russia and North Korea. And the Wall Street Journal is right. We have a political class that is complacent, has very little sense of urgency. You know, we're on the edge of war, and the Biden administration refuses to fill the strategic petroleum reserve, which it drained last year. So I don't know how this gets more dangerous. The Chinese can see it. And I think they're going to try and take advantage of the situation. They have taken advantage of every situation possible um, under President Biden so far. So it wouldn't be surprising that European officials are saying, Gordon, that China, quote, participated actively and was positive about the idea. The Nigerian army is getting ready to go to war. With who? With France. That's right. They kicked out France because France has been stealing $500 billion a year, a year from Africa. And now Africa says, we're not going to be your human property anymore. You're out. 
It's time to fight. It's time to take back what's ours, which is our continent. The Nigerians said, let's do it. We're armed up. We're going to defend our borders from the French in Europe. This has nothing to do with Europe. It's Africa. And yet, just like the 16, 17, 1800s in Europe, they believe they own Africa. Macron, all of them, they believe that they own Africa and they will send their forces, which they've gotten from everywhere else. Their forces are from Africa. They're going to send those forces to fight other Africans to steal African land. Does this make sense to you? I stand with Niger. Go get your continent back. But what do you guys think? Should Africa take its continent back from Europe? So we seeing that the, the whole world is turning against these what? These Edomites, you know what I'm saying? Esau, Edom, uh, the devil that the Bible speaks of. So we seeing that the nations are rising against nation. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, kingdom against kingdom. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is constantly, you know, it fizzing the earth. He's moving the chest pieces around for the what? The controversy of Zion. You know, we're living in the end time, real time. So we'll start the day lesson in Isaiah chapter 33. We'll start here. And once again, I hope that you will get edified. Let's start here, uh, Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 1. It said, Woe to thee that spoilest, and thou uh, was not spoiled, and dealest trustfully, and they uh, dealt not trustfully with thee. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled, and when thou shalt make an end to deal trustfully, they shall deal trustfully with thee. And I about so these nations are getting ready to deal trustfully with what? America, you know what I'm saying? Because what they have spoiled many nations, you know what I'm saying? Rob, steal, and kill, shed innocent blood, constantly what? Draining people of resource, making people, you know, turn a country into what? Third world country. So this place is getting ready to be a third world country. You know what I'm saying? Not about the Lord's getting ready to make this place what? Desolate. You know, he's getting ready to make this a what? A what? A, a large a wilderness. You know what I'm saying? Where there will be no inhabitants left here. And I bet call what? They have spoiled many nations. What was done uh, uh, to us and to these other nations is getting ready to happen to what? America, Babylon the Great, the hammer of the whole earth. The Lord is getting ready what? To cease the arrogance of the proud. And who is the most proud? Esau, Edom, these Edomites, you know what I'm saying? The devil that the Bible speaks of, the Lord's getting ready to what? To cut them off forever because they what? Have spoiled many nations and also they have what? Dealt, uh, dealt very what? Treachfully, you know what I'm saying? Constantly, you know what I'm saying? Death and hell follow him everywhere he go. So let's go here to Habakkuk chapter 2. One moment. Habakkuk chapter 2. <clears throat> One moment. Habakkuk. Habakkuk chapter 2. And we'll start at verse 5. And it reads, say, Yea, also because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man, neither keeper at home, who enlarges uh, his desire as hell and, and is as death and cannot be satisfied because uh, but gather unto him all nations and heap us unto him all people. So we already seeing what's going on there between uh, uh, Niger and France, which in fact uh, is Europe. You know what I'm saying? We're seeing that those Edomites over there, you know, they're constantly trying to go uh, 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 drain these people, what resource, their land. You know what I'm saying? Constantly, I think they said they was getting a five billion a dollar a year from over there. You know, they want that uranium, they want that gold, and also they want the oil. You know, that's why they were trying to run that uh, pipeline back in, uh, back from Niger into uh into this uh into the EU so they can benefit from it. So that about we already know who is the thief, who is a robber, you know what I'm saying? Who is constantly, you know what I'm saying, a death in hell and who is that proud man, the so called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. We see in the hey man. Because he has spoiled many nations. That's why these nations are rising up. You know what I'm saying? They're done with America. They're done with the dollar. They're done with this uh, democracy. You know what I'm saying? Trying to be the nation's police. Trying to be what? Uh, uh, the uh, uh, Constantly wanting to be the what? The hammer of the whole earth. Bullying these nations. These nations seeing that America is weak. You know what I'm They're seeing that we have a weak leader. We seeing, they seeing that our economy is, is constantly what? Collapse. They seeing that our infrastructure is constantly collapsing. And not about They already know that, hey man, every hand uh, you know of the wicked is getting ready to come upon this man and out of body you know what i'm saying they get he's getting ready to be what chased out of the world like a vision in the night he ain't, ain't about he, he'll be just like he was never was you know what i'm saying hey man the lord is getting ready to do a mighty work so now let's start back up in fact uh uh and and, and one thing about it you know he constantly what heaping 
until you know himself many people. You know, so we already know that what uh, America, which in fact is Babylon the Great, is you know what the uh, is uh, the nation melting pot. All sorts of what nations, uh, kindreds, and tongues right here in America. You know, what I'm saying through Thy will, Spirit. A lot of people have 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 uh, grown fat off the whole. You know, they have lived what deliciously. Everyone has drunk in the wine, all the lies and deception. The Lord is what it's constantly removing the covering cast, and not about these nations are mad, and not about you know they're rising up, and not about where they are seeing who. It's the devil. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is what? Making Esau bearer and bearer. And out about, hey, and what? That dreadful song is in his ear. So now, verse 6, it said, Shall not all these take up a parable against him, a, a taunting proverb against him, and say, Woe to him that increases that which is not his. How long? And and to him that uh, laden himself with thick clay. Now, but we already know America is what? Is what? 31 trillion, you know what I'm saying? In debt, probably more than that. And I bet he owe what? China, uh, you know, so much money. Now, but we already know that they're, they're getting ready what to go to war because we already know that, you know, he constantly what? He constantly being the boy, the thief of the whole earth. You know what I'm saying? And out about, you know, we know we seeing that, you know, he's constantly getting exposed. Now about they taking up of a proverb against him. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, they seeing that, hey man, this man he, he got to go. You know what I'm saying? Constantly what? Uh pausing the water, pausing the food, you know, pausing the earth, also pausing uh the people. You know what I'm saying? People are are sick and tired. You know what I'm saying? Constantly you know what? The petrol dollar, the fiat currency, you know what I'm saying? The, you know, it was the uh are the number one curse, but now we're seeing that you know it, everyone is turning away from from uh, uh, from uh, the dollar. You we are once again the end of the dollar is the what the end of America. These BRICS nations are rising and is it, what in counting. You know what I'm saying? So everyone is is, is you know what I'm saying is rising up against a mark. And about just like the Bible said, and I about this place is getting ready to be totally destroyed. Whether you were here or whether you will forbear, and I about you know that. That thick clay going into what their debt, you know what I'm saying? We already know they uh they just said I think the uh the other day that they uh 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 had uh reduced the uh the credit score of America, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of things are happening. See, hey, hey man, we seeing that a lot of people uh uh hey man, America is finished. So let's start back up at uh have good chapter two and verse seven said, Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and awake that shall vex thee, and thou shalt be for Buddhists up uh, unto them. So, hey, man, hey, because what? You small men in nation. And not about, hey, man, it is payday. Hey, hey, the Lord's getting ready to repay. Verse 8, he said, Because thou hast spoiled men in nation, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee, because thou, because of men's blood and for the violence of the land and of the, of the city and of all that dwell therein. Let's read that again. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 8. Because thou hast spoiled many nations. All the remnant of the people shall spoil thee. Because of men's blood. And for the violence of the land. Of the city. And of all that dwell therein. So because they what? They robbed. They stole the land. They they killed the, the people of the land. They they what? They they, they stole all the resources. They they plundered, just constantly plundering. So let's go to the blue letter. Let's get a little bit more uh uh let's get a little bit more edification on the uh word spoil. Let's go here to the blue letter. Let's go here and uh let's read that again. Uh Habakkuk chapter two and uh verse eight in the blue letter. Because thou hast spoiled many nations. All the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because thou, because of men's blood and for the violence of the land and of the city and of all that dwell therein. So, hey, man, that's, you know, hey, the Lord's getting ready. Hey, man, set the record straight. So let's go into that word spoil right quick. Let's get a little bit more edification on the word uh, spoil. Let's go into the uh, root word right quick. Let's get a little bit more on it so we get a little bit more understanding there. Let's go here to uh, um, one moment. Let's go here to uh H seventy nine uh ninety seven you know it's so, uh Hebrews seventy nine ninety seven let's see what it uh reads here let's see here one moment one moment let's go into it let's go to the etymology let's see what the Hebrew uh pronunciation of uh of spoil Strong's H seventy nine ninety seven Shalal 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 so now let's go into uh. Let's go here. Let's get a little bit more here. Let's get a little bit. Let's see what the meaning is. It said to uh to spoil, uh plunder, uh take spoil to spoil. Let's see what else we have. It said to spoil 
uh, be plundered. So that's what exactly what what uh, what America did. You know what I'm saying? They constantly what came in other people's uh, 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 country. You know they what they plundered it. You know what I'm saying? They spoiled it. You know what I'm saying? They robbed it. You know what I'm saying? They uh, shed innocent blood. So you can understand. You know what I'm saying? They took what the gold, the silver, the resource, the oil, the water, the people, you rape. You know what I'm saying? Rob, steal, and murder. So we already know who is the thief of the entire earth. In fact, it's what these Edomites, Esau, Edom, the devil that the Bible speaks of. So, so, so we, so we get a little bit more edification on the word spoil. So you know, we already know what this is all about. You know, constantly taking, robbing, stealing. You know what I'm saying? Also, what did they do when they came to America? You know what I'm saying? They what? Let's go back to the King James verse. What did they do? You know what I'm saying? They did the same thing. They spoiled the what? Uh, the uh, the uh, 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 the 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 Indians, which in fact was the uh, northern tribe. You know they came over here. You know what I'm saying? They took their land. You know what I'm saying? They killed and robbed. They raped. You know what I'm saying? And then also they took them into what? To slavery. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so slavery is coming back in, in a big way. Hey, man. The Lord is, hey, man. The Lord's constantly exposing this red devil. Uh, let's go back to King James uh, Version. Uh, Habakkuk chapter 2. Let's start back up at verse 9. It said, Woe to him that covers, covers an evil covenant to his house that he may uh, set his nest on high that he may be delivered from uh, the power of evil. Verse 10, thou hast consulted shame to thy house by cutting off many people and hast sinned against thy soul. Verse 11, for the stone shall cry out of the wall and, and the beam out of the timber shall answer it. So that's talking about the prophet. So, but one thing about it that we seeing that this, you know what I'm saying? He constantly what got his net setting up on high. He wouldn't be like the most proud, but the Lord's giving what to what? To bring him down. He is the what? The basis of men. And I about, you know, he's the what? The original caveman. When you go to uh Job chapter uh 30, it'll tell you all about him. You know, they are children of food, but right now he's walking in great pride. You know, he's wearing out the saints. He's constantly speaking what all sorts of abomination and what and all sorts of uh of blasphemy. Blast uh, for me against who? Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. But the Lord's getting ready what? to cut him off. His day has come. He has bound that he cannot pass. That's why what? When you go to Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12, it said the devil's getting ready to come down with great wrath because what? He knowing that his time is short. We seeing that the nations are rising up. And out about, we already know he's getting ready what? To use that sword. But out about, the Lord's getting ready to return and cut him off forever. So now let's go here to Jeremiah. Just a quick lesson through the spirit, and we'll probably get one more. Jeremiah chapter uh, 50, and we'll go to a uh, verse, one moment. Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 9, one moment. Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 9. And it reads, really said, For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon, America, an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert. Man, none shall return in vain. And out of my hey, we already know we're coming upon that time. You know, it's coming, you know what I'm saying? They're coming from what? The land of the north, Russia and China, in collaboration with the EU and NATO. You know what I'm saying? Also, these brick nations. You know what I'm saying? Every hand is getting ready to come upon this, this red devil. And out of my so you said a mighty expert man. Uh, it's, it's going into these IBCMS, these arrows, you know what I'm saying? And, hey, and one thing about it, you know, they shall not return in vain. And I bet they're going to hit their mark. And I bet so when they get ready to be shot through the what? The ends of the earth. And I bet the Lord's getting ready to bring the what? That indignation. The Lord's getting ready to bring oh, that what? Fire and brimstone. Also that laser and chariot fire. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, the Lord's getting ready to destroy this place. And a lot of our people are not considered. They're not, they are not redeeming the time. Why? They're not walking circus space. You know what I'm saying? And they don't know what time they're living in. They don't know who they are. They don't know who they true power. And also, they don't know who the enemy is. And out of the hey, man, it's right upon us. All hell is getting ready to break loose. In the middle of the Lord, we constantly warn you, left and right. Verse 10, it said, And the child deal shall be a spoil that spoiled her shall be satisfied, says the Lord. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, because what? They have their very treacherously, you know what I'm saying? And everybody has spoiled many nations, so they're getting ready to be spoiled, you know what I'm saying? Getting ready to become a total what? wasteland. So we're, we already know there's already prophesied that with Russia and China troops, you know, get ready to what? Invade America, and everybody, they're going to rob, steal, and pimp Piblish display, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a time of trouble that we have never seen before. They'll be like what madmen, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that invading force, you know what I'm saying? They not they not gonna 
regard to what the young, the old, the infants, anyone. It's going to be killed or be killed. You know, Egyptian against Egyptian. You know what I'm saying? So that Chaldea going to a, a ancient uh, priest of the uh, of that uh of the uh, Edomites, you know what I'm saying? Which, in fact, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They had their own priests too, from the what the left hand side. So let's let's go here to uh, Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 11. Say, because ye, because ye were glad, because uh, ye rejoice, O ye destroyers of my heritage. Who is that? You know, let's talk about Esau, Edom, and talking about America also, because ye are grown fat as the heifers uh, at grass and bellows uh, as bulls. So let's read that again. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 11 said because ye were glad because ye rejoice O ye destroyers of my heritage because ye are grown fat as the heifers as grass and bellows as bulls and out of body you know Babylon the great America you know this place is grown fat you know what I'm saying they're living fat off the hall off the what the sweat and blood and tears off the what uh, 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 what Israel you know what I'm saying you know what they call the slave you know what I'm saying the one that is at the bottom but out of body you know hey the Lord is getting ready to rise up against him you know what I'm saying hey man this place is getting ready to be a total uh, desolation so we know that we're coming you know we're in that transition of power we know that you know what I'm saying we coming we coming to that down to the wire. We seeing that, you know what I'm saying, that uh the Lord is getting ready to what to destroy what? This age, this earth age, you know what I'm saying? Esau kingdom, you know what I'm saying? Esau is the end of what? Of this earth age. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follow what? The kingdom of heaven that dwells in righteousness. So we're here. We're very close. That's why all these things are happening. The Lord is causing all these things to happen because we're in this time. You know what I'm saying? We're at the harvest time. We're, we're at the what? The end of the world. You know what I'm saying? The Lord's getting ready. Hey, man, to bring it forth, man. We cannot wait. Ooh, the Lord's getting ready to lift up that standard. So now let's go to our last and final script. We'll close out here. Let's go here to uh, uh, Job chapter, uh, one moment. Let's go here to Job chapter 20. Job chapter 20, this is where we're at right here. Job chapter 20, and we'll start up at verse uh, 22. And it reads, in the fullness of his sufficiency, uh, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. So we're seeing that he's in straits. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing working out. We're seeing that, you know what I'm saying, that left hand energy, that black magic is not working for it. When you go to Isaiah chapter 40, 40, uh, 47, you know what I'm saying? Stand thou now in, 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 in thy enchantment. You know, so so the Lord is constantly what breaking down the wisdom of what Esau eat him. He's making him a bearer and bearer. All these nations are rising up against the whore. You know what I'm saying? They're getting ready to burn the whore. When you go to Revelation chapter 17 and also Revelation chapter 18, in one hour, thy judgment comes. So, we're here, you know, we're seeing that we're here. We already know he tried to bring forth this what his enterprise, this what new world order. He tried to bring forth this digital society, you know, this cashless society. You know, he won't total control, track and tie. We know that the C hip is here. But out of the hey, we already know that hey, he will not be able to perform his enterprise. Verse 23. So when he is about to fill his his belly, what his enterprise, his what his agenda, you know what I'm saying, his plan, you know what I'm saying. We're not ignorant of Satan's device, which in fact is what the new world, or this beast banking system, you know what I'm saying. We're not be able to buy or sell, you know, without having it under your, you know what, your skin. Also, we know that he's getting ready to bring these hokey pokies back into play. This ditch could download. Hey, hey, man, we're here, but the Almighty shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. And shall rain it upon him while he is eating. So, hey, we, <laughs> we coming upon that time. The Lord's getting ready to bring that fire. You know what I'm saying? The indignation of Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh. So, we see in these nations are rising up against these Edomites. Esau, Edom. You know what I'm saying? What they're the modern day so-called white man. He's not white. He's red. Genesis chapter 25 and verse 25. The first one came out red. This is all about a what? A birthright in a bloodline. And <laughs> about but one thing about it is they hate. We're here. We read upon war. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, the Lord's getting ready to repay all these nations. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, we're here. You know what I'm saying? And also, you know, we read at what? Judgment. So we see that, hey, man, all these things are happening. We have to what? The edge of war. World War Three is speaking loud and clear. So let's go here to, uh, let's get another one before we close out. Let's go to uh, Isaiah chapter 19. Isaiah chapter 19. One moment. Isaiah chapter 19 and verse 2. Isaiah chapter 19. One moment. And verse two, one moment, Isaiah chapter 19 to verse two. And it reads that I will set the Egyptian against Egyptian and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. So we seeing that happening right before I, we seeing these Edomites get ready to turn against uh, 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 their own uh, uh, 
Edom, Edomite brother. We're seeing that happen over here, in, 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 right here in America. You know what I'm saying? We're seeing civil unrest. We're getting ready to see a civil war break out. You know what I'm saying? Sedition among men, insurrection. All these things are getting ready to happen. You know what I'm saying? All hell is getting ready to break loose. And also this order out of chaos, but it's going to what? Turn against them. And I'd be hey, man, the Lord is doing a mighty work. We're seeing it happening right before our eyes, man. The heathens are raging. We're seeing that it's happening, boy. Let's get that one, then we'll close out. Let's go here to, uh, uh, no, let's go here to Luke chapter uh, 21. we get two more, then we'll close out. Let's go here to Luke chapter 21, because this is where we're at. We're seeing these nations arising. We're seeing that these nations are divided. And what? One thing about it, if a nation is divided, it cannot stand. We're seeing that Babylon, the great, which in fact is America, is divided. Inner structure, the, what? The economy is uh, constantly collapsing. Everything has been engineered, but that about it's all been engineered through who? Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Not the so-called white man. He's not in control. The Lord is in perfect control. You know what I'm saying? Out of body, you know, hey man, we're here, man. It is at the door. So let's go here to Luke chapter 21. Let's get this quick precept. Uh, Luke chapter 21, and we'll start at verse 9. Luke chapter 21 and verse 9. One moment. Luke chapter 21 and verse 9. <clears throat> and it reads, so, but, but when ye shall hear of wars and commotion, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. So we're seeing all these things happen because what? We're at the beginning of sorrows. Also, the Lord gave us another layout in what? Matthew chapter 24. He would tell you all the things that will happen right before his what? Great and glorious return. Who? We cannot wait. Verse 10, it said, Then shall then 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 said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. We're seeing it happening right before our eyes, real time. Verse 11, it said, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famine and pestilence and fearful sights and great signs shall there be uh, from heaven. So we're seeing that right now. You know what I'm saying? We're seeing, you know, earthquakes. You know what I'm saying? We're seeing what all these what different uh, storms, heat, uh, heat waves. Uh, we're seeing uh, 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 fires, uh, a forest fire all over the place. You know what I'm saying? We're seeing that uh, uh, what is uh, tsunamis, hailstorm, tornadoes. You know what I'm saying? Hurricanes, a lot of things, earthquakes, uh, volcanic activity, you know what I'm saying? Fearful sites, you know what I'm saying? Eclipse, a lot of things are happening all around the world. You know what I'm saying? Right before what? The great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And not about it. So the Lord is, you know what I'm saying? It's constantly, you know, changing the vibration. You know what I'm saying? This. You know, this world is upside down. The Lord is getting ready to what, turn it right back sides up. He's getting ready to bring forth that what? That uh, righteous order uh, back upon the earth. As it is in heaven, so shall it be on earth. The kingdom of heaven, it is at hand. So now, let's go to our last and final script. Let's go here to Psalm chapter uh, Psalm chapter 2. Just round the scriptures off the spirit. Uh, Psalm chapter 2 and verse 1. We'll close out here. And it reads that, Why do the heathen rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. And I'm about the heathens are raging. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? And, and, and who is the head of those heathen nations? Esau Edom, the so-called white man. The devil that the Bible speaks of. He's raging. And also these African nations. You know what I'm saying? All these nations. You know what I'm saying? And out of the Bible, we're seeing them that they, hey man, they get ready what? To burn the whore. And out of the Bible, you know what I'm saying? The Lord is what? Is making inquisition. The Lord is making an invest, uh, uh, investigation. He's what? Is vis visiting the earth that he created for the what? The controversy of Zion. And out of body, and the Lord is getting ready to bring that vengeance. You know what I'm saying? These are the days of vengeance. You know what I'm saying? And recompense and judgment. And out of body, the Lord is getting ready to repay. The Lord is getting ready to do a mighty work. The Lord is getting ready to what? To shake this place to the foundation. You know what I'm saying? Great death, great mourning, great persecution. It's getting ready to befall us. And out of body, one thing about it is that, you know, either you will hear or either you will for. Uh, for, uh, 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 for bear. And also, you know what I'm saying? The Lord has what? Well, has set up watchmen. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, that will never hold their peace day and night. Isaiah chapter what? 62, I think around verse 5 through 7. And I about, hey, one thing about it, we're here. You know what I'm saying? And one thing about it is this we're standing on our watch. We're standing on fire for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. He is the only way and He is the only answer. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is Because Thou Hast Spoiled Many Nations. So I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rikakadash. I'd like to say, Shalom, Shalom.